We have big plans for liquefied natural gas uh, to reach markets around the world. We, have, uh, we, we are aiming for having the top system in the western half of the North American continent for plastics recycling and reuse to help meet goals of reducing plastic waste to zero and an expansion of our own petrochemical manufacturing uh, capacity in the province, a huge expansion of that, so that we can produce much needed items like, for example, personal protective equipment that we've become uh, familiar with in the last seven months. We'll expand Alberta's natural gas sector, moving from the extraction and, and industrial use that currently make up most of our activity. In the decades to come, we will still rely on natural gas to heat our homes and serve as a reliable energy source for electricity and industrial uses. But natural gas also has huge potential for other uses, potential that has yet to be tapped. Given the vast amount of resources we sit on, almost 300 years worth of natural gas based on current usage, it's important that we fully explore the possibilities that natural gas provides to Alberta's people and our economy. There are five broad areas where we believe the future of natural gas brightest for Alberta. Specifically, hydrogen, petrochemical, liquefied natural gas, plastics recycling, and industrial demand. Each of these sectors provides a new or expanded set of opportunities for industry, for consumers around the world, and most importantly for Albertans. One global market that's been getting a lot of attention lately is hydrogen. This is one that we've had our eye on for some time and the momentum is definitely building, which is why we wanted to highlight a potential future for hydrogen here today. Whether it's used for transportation, heating or other uses, the potential for hydrogen as a portable zero emission energy source is outstanding. And Alberta is an amazing and unique position to meet the growing interest in hydrogen. As Premier Kennedy mentioned, our earlier investments in carbon capture, utilization and storage, along with the abundant supply of natural gas, have positioned us for a head start in producing the clean, responsibly sourced hydrogen that the world is going to need.